Here we go. How do you express your creativity? I express my creativity in physical ways. Cooking is one of my favourite things to do, but it's not just about the end result. It's definitely about the process of you know starting with ingredients and putting them together. A little bit of love, a little bit of alchemy, a glass of wine, music, dancing around the kitchen. Another way I would say is through dance. I love movement. You told me you're the best dancer I'm gonna ever meet. <laughs> yeah, when you know, we first met. That's definitely um, part of my sales skills. <laughs> I would say. And you are a good dancer. I'm not about the best you'll ever meet, though. But you know, <laughs> here we are, nearly seven years later. So, <laughs> job done. Right now, it's everything that we do for Matchstick. So, creating content, whether that's writing or designing. Yeah, for sure, that's a big one for me because I have a background in painting. I actually miss painting. I haven't done that in a while, but that used to be a great way. It's kind of meditative and you're just, you know, focusing on this one thing, very present, mindful. And I would say cooking as well, but for me, it's more baking. So I really like from completely random different ingredients coming up with something in the oven and you see how it's like growing and expanding and then eating it and sharing it with friends. Next one. Do it. What's your favorite podcast? Right now, I would say it's Modern Wisdom by Chris Williamson. I only discovered it this year, I think, when David Goggins was on it. So usually I listen to podcasts because of the guests more so than the hosts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with this one, I stuck with it and I check it regularly. He also has the only newsletter that I'm actually subscribed to. He talks about like things that he learned that week and you know, a little reflection. And yeah, I like his it's style, I like his guests, and I always learn something from it. I always like want to pause and take some notes, and yeah, I find value in it. Yeah, I, I, I love Modern Wisdom, definitely. Learn something pretty much every episode. Um, it's, it's difficult though, favourite podcast. Filthy Fellas, which is a football podcast. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, the, the man them are just so opinionated it's it's I, I love people who have really strong opinions i like shits and gigs again like super toxic i guess but can be quite fun lex can be um lex is insightful great. yeah 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 i think some of my favorite like mind-blowing have been on that the one with daniel smachtenberg is just like oh my god this guy is insanely smart and switched on I'm still listen to joe Joe Rogan, occasionally. I know that's a little bit controversial. I just love that he's uh, into similar things, you know, the <laughs> combat sports. Bears and hunting. <laughs> Not so much the hunting, but I, I get his big, complete... Big, strong men. Well, you know, nothing wrong with big, strong men. The world nothing needs wrong. them. His enthusiasm and his, his passion for just the shit that he likes. Yeah, I, I respect that, even though I don't always agree with his opinions. From him, I found out about a lot of other podcasts. Mm -hmm. So like Cameron Haynes, Andrew Huberman. I think that maybe also started from Shout Joe. Out Huberman. When are you most fulfilled? A really stimulating conversation. I'm energized by people, meeting different people, uh, listening to and sharing different opinions, points of views. That's really something that, that energizes me makes me feel fulfilled for me i would say definitely helping other people it's really satisfying and just makes me happy to see if i can have a positive impact on someone else also at the end of a really hard workout you've put in the work you didn't want to go out but you did um, yeah, that's a good one yeah i thought you might say that one so <laughs> thank you for saving it for me like my saturday long runs and then coming home and simo is amazing he usually makes breakfast that's like one of my <laughs> things that I look forward to the most throughout the week. You put in the work, you sweat, and then once you've checked it off, just you set yourself up for, you know, a really good rest of the day. What's next? Ooh, what was your most recent adventure? Who came um, up with this one? I'm not sure. They're just random taken from our 307 followers on LinkedIn. <laughs> is it 307 now? It is by, by the time we out. release it. <laughs> <laughs> so, my most recent adventure, I actually have a great answer for this one. Because it was my birthday, not too long ago. Mm. And Seymour, right here, is really, really good at surprises. 
So <laughs> actually, that was also a great adventure when we went to Budapest and I didn't know where we were going. But this one, I again didn't know where we were going. I knew that it was something dependent on weather because it was canceled once. So we had to move it to the next weekend. So I was thinking like, is it going to be, I don't know, hunting, jumping from a plane, uh, what do you call it, pa- parachuting? What else? <laughs> Horseback riding? <laughs> it was never going to be hunting or horseback riding but then it turned out to be flying so we went to a small town nearby by train and yeah i found out only when we met our instructor and he was like so which one of you is going to fly the plane and it was me (laughs) (laughs) yeah and it was a small plane just for two people and we yeah flew for about uh, 30 minutes and it was amazing it was also snowy at the time so just beautiful beautiful landscape so i actually was um what do you call it Piloting? Piloting. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, you don't drive. I was flying. I was flying the plane. For <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take off, though. The takeoff, he did completely. But then we also did like a little plane ac- acrobatics. I don't know mm-hmm. if you can call it that. But yeah, so, yeah, I screamed. Like it was a lot of adrenaline. I guess I'll say scuba diving. So mm. yeah, that was a birthday gift from Ina. And my first time scuba diving, it was... Uh, I would say one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. It's so scary. 40 minutes of sheer terror. <laughs> um, and just a sense of relief. It wasn't, wasn't deep. It was like maybe 9, 10 metres. Mm-hmm. Being completely in an alien environment and breathing. Just couldn't ever feel comfortable, get settled. But it was very satisfying. It was very fulfilling. Um, would you do it again? 100%. Yeah, 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 100%. Nice. Now I know what to expect. And yeah, I would, I would love to love to go and scuba mm-hmm. with some coral. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hope to see you back again here soon.